Why, hello! Welcome to Eli's Corner. But this isn't just any Eli's Corner with a TV screen behind me showing clips of whatever the heck I'm talking about. No, this is going to be an episode recap of the new season of Doctor Who. DW Recaps! I... that... that is what I'm going to call it. I got my TARDIS behind me, let's get started with episode 1 of series 10, The Pilot. So the Doctor is back in all of his glory, and what a way to start off the episode, but with our new companion, Bill, played by Pearl Mackey. So it starts off with our new companion, Bill, entering the Doctor's, uh office in a campus somewhere? I don't know, England. But apparently he's been there for a while because you see a layout of everything that every Doctor Who fan is going to nerd about. He's got a cup full of screwdrivers. He's got pictures of his granddaughter, Susan, and River Song. Oh, the feels! And the TARDIS is in a corner just sitting there with a out of order sign on it. And that's when the doctor comes in and they're having a little discussion and it's not so much a Bill sees the doctor, gets into a situation. No, actually they build a relationship first and it actually goes on for a few months. Because you see, Bill isn't actually a student, she actually just works there, but apparently since she's been going to the doctor's classes, which are very confusing, but apparently she goes there a lot, the doctor notices, and it's just like, hey, how about I tutor you for a while, I guess, I don't know. And it goes on for a few months, I mean, Christmas passes by, and the, <laughs> Bill gets the doctor, like, a rug, and the doctor's just like, uh, yeah, I didn't get you anything. Which gets them talking, and apparently Bill, uh, lost her mother when she was v really, really young, so the doctor feels bad about that, because Bill doesn't apparently have any pictures of her, so the doctor, of course, what a sweet guy. Goes back in time and takes a bunch of pictures of her mom. Wait, hang on. No, um, that, that, that sounds wrong. This is not as creepy as I'm making it out to be. Okay, let me just say, finds pic old pictures of her mom and then secretly gives them to her. So they're kind of building a relationship and that's mainly how the first part of this episode goes. And if you're wondering, where's all the sci-fi stuff? Where's the time travel, the adventure? It happens like in the second half of it, which is what I'm gonna explain now. So Bill met this girl who Bill kind of has a crush on, and this girl, Heather, goes and is kind of um, obsessing over this puddle because apparently she explains, it hasn't rained there for, like, a while, why is there a puddle here? But, of course, Bill's just like, oh, it's probably just nothing. But, of course, if you watch Doctor Who, you know it's not just nothing. There's something going on here. So then later on, Bill kind of follows the Doctor and his companion, what, what is the bald guy's name? Nardal. What was I talking about? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so Bill follows the Doctor and Nardal to this basement-type place, and apparently they're trying to keep this vault, this Gallifreyan looking vault, a secret. What's in the vault? We don't know. But it sure couldn't be a plot device for the rest of the season, am I right? But then later on in life, Bill kind of explains uh, this little puddle thing and how Heather kind of disappeared. And when the doctor hears about this, of course, he, what does he do? He rushes to the puddle, takes a look around, gets a sample of it, and goes like, Hey, you know, there is something wrong with this puddle. So then when Bill goes home, she realizes that she's not alone. And then all of a sudden, Heather's there as this weird water monster thing. Kind of reminiscent to the Waters of, on Mars effect, but, you know. And then water monster Heather is starting to follow Bill wherever she goes. So where does she go? To the doctor's office. The doctor says, okay, let's go into this box. You'll be safe there. And then Bill is just amazed by, what? This place looks like a kitchen? And the doctor's just like, wait, what? So then they're traveling from place to place. First they go to Australia. Boom, the monster shows up. Then they go into the future. 24 million years into the future, I think. Boom, the monster shows up. So apparently the monster can time travel as well. So then the doctor goes, hmm, you know what? We need a fire for it to put out this water. Or he says something like that. So what kind of fire do they need? Dalek fire! Wait, what? So the doctor kind of takes them to this Dalek battle field where apparently Daleks are in war with someone. I mean, the Daleks are always fighting somebody. So the water monster goes there and is shot by a Dalek and then all of a sudden takes the form of a Dalek because it has a shape-shifting thing. I don't know. Then, of course, the whole uh, explanation that the Doctor gives, oh, apparently this is this is uh, actually just some uh, alien liquid that Heather accidentally got eaten by. Now she's no longer human. And then it turns out that the monster, monster doesn't actually want to kill Bill. Gil Bill. Doesn't want to attack Bill, but actually just wants to take her with her, in a way, because the Heather water creature thing 
actually just wants to leave and go somewhere else, and she wants to take Bill with her. Bill has the opportunity to go with Heather, but she refuses and goes, I'm sorry, but I did like you though. Thus, we're back into the doctor's office. I just realized I've been saying doctor's office like it's the doctor's office. <laughs> So then the doctor's just like, okay, this has been fun, but I need to wipe your memory. And Bill's just like, uh, no you're not. Do you think I don't know what a mind wipe looks like? I've watched sci-fi movies. Then Bill's just like, okay, you know what, fine, do it. But just imagine how it feels for someone to do that to you. Oh, the feels. So then the doctor is just like, okay, you know what, fine, get out before I change my mind. Bill leaves, and then the doctor's just in his thinking mode. He sees the Susan picture, he's just like, shut up. He sees the river picture, he's like, shut up. The TARDIS makes a noise, and it's just like, no, you all shut up. Why are you all thinking? I don't want to do this anymore because he's still remembering the loss of his companions before and he promised he'd never do it again. But come on, we need a show, dude. So then as Bill is leaving the campus, the doctor appears in front of her and then he's just like, you know what, I kind of changed my mind. Why don't we go explore some things and maybe see Heather again because Bill wants to see Heather again. So time will tell. The door shuts, they're on their way and end of the episode. Oh, now I know what it's like to feel like a Sherlock fan to wait so long for a new season. But now that it's here, Oh, I love it. The doctor's back. He's just as great as he was. Bill is a great companion. I'm loving her so far. Nardal is actually kind of like us because um, when Bill finally says, hey, it's bigger on the inside, Nardal's just like, hey, hey, we got her to say it. And I like how simple the episode was. It wasn't like an overabundant, hey, the world's in danger type scenario. It's just, it was just kind of simple. You know what I mean? So overall, I love the doctor. I love the episode. Bill is pretty cool. And the show is back. So I'm super happy for that, and I can't wait for the next episode. So that was DW Recaps. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.